Europe's central banks are poised to cut interest rates in the coming months, a stark contrast to the U.S. Federal Reserve's stance of keeping rates elevated to tame inflation. The European Central Bank, ECB, has signaled a plausible rate cut in June, while the Bank of England, BOE, is expected to follow suit, potentially reducing borrowing costs earlier and more aggressively than the Fed. This divergence in monetary policy between Europe and the U.S. is set to have significant implications for global markets and the relative economic performance of the two regions. As European stocks and bonds are expected to outperform their U.S. counterparts, the balance of market power is shifting away from the U.S. The ECB's decision to consider easing monetary policy in June is driven by several factors. Inflation in the Eurozone has fallen rapidly, dropping to 2.4% in March, not far from the ECB's 2% target. This decline, coupled with slowing wage growth and weak investment, points to further disinflation. The Eurozone has experienced six consecutive quarters of economic stagnation, with the labor market softening and bank lending stagnant. The ECB believes that cutting rates is justified given the Eurozone's differing economic fortunes compared to the U.S., while the U.S. continues to grow above trend with a tight labor market, the Eurozone faces more challenging conditions. A minority of ECB policymakers had pushed for a rate cut as early as April, arguing that the risks of not meeting the inflation target were substantial. The prospect of earlier and more aggressive rate cuts in Europe compared to the U.S. is already having an impact on global markets. European equity indices, such as the Euro Stocks 50 and Euro Stocks 600, have hit record highs, with the FTSE 100 in the UK also reaching new records. The pan-European indices have gained over 2% this week, poised for their best performance since January. Expectations of rate cuts have weakened European currencies, which could provide a boost to exports and economic growth. Money markets are pricing in around 55 basis points. BPS of BOE rate cuts by year-end, 70 BPS from the ECB, and just 43 BPS from the Fed. This divergence in rate expectations is likely to be reflected in bond yields, with European government bonds potentially outperforming U.S. Treasuries. Since 2020, the U.S. has generated the lion's share of global equity gains. However, this trend is now reversing, with investors seeing Europe as the region with better growth momentum, at least in the short term. While the prospect of rate cuts in Europe is seen as a positive for markets, there are also risks and challenges associated with this pivot. The path of inflation worldwide remains unpredictable, and European government bonds could stay volatile as a result. The ECB, BOE, and other European central banks might regret sounding too dovish too soon, as the Fed did in December 2023 when it signaled rate cuts, but then turned more hawkish. If the U.S. can continue to run up its debt and deficit, rates in the U.S. may stay higher than in Europe, at least in the short term. While Europe is expected to accelerate from a weaker base, the U.S. economy is cooling from a stronger starting point. Investors are questioning whether the U.S. will run out of steam. The divergence in monetary policy between Europe and the U.S. has significant implications for the American economy. Economists polled by Reuters expect the U.S. economy to expand by 2.5% this year versus 0.5% in the Eurozone and 0.4% in the U.K. However, in terms of growth momentum, investors see Europe doing better, which could bode well for European assets over the longer term. The U.S. government's lavish spending, dubbed Bidenomics, is spurring investment but also raising debt and the deficit. The U.S. continues to grapple with strong inflation, which remains a concern for the Fed. In contrast, inflation in Europe has fallen more rapidly. As investors shift their focus to European markets, the U.S. may see a decline in its share of global equity gains. This could have broader implications for the U.S. economy and its standing in the global financial system. The success of both Europe and the U.S. will depend on their ability to navigate the complex economic and geopolitical challenges of the coming years. As the world's two largest economies, their actions will have significant implications for the global economy as a whole.